Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Well, guess what? I believe I told you that there'd be an update for how our rabbit and quail tower is doing. So here you go. Stay with us. So, the animals have been in here probably about almost two months now, and everyone seems comfy, cozy, happy as a clam. And um, again, you know, I'll show you how everything's holding up. It's been raining for like the last two days. It's, it's raining out now. There's the lasagna garden back there. And uh, so the bottom part with the rabbit poop tray, I just cleaned it out, added some more hay to it. Everything's doing great. It's doing a wonderful job actually of collecting all the pee and poop. And um, very, very little misses it because of the sizing. And the food hopper working wonderful. Excuse you. That's the new male in there going nuts. What are you doing in my house? And uh, the watering system is working great. I've added a second one on here. It's a minor change um, because the two of them, when they got thirsty, they would fight over the same one. So I got them two. And they seem to be happy with it. You going to show us? No, that's it. You're done? Okay. So, um, but the hutch itself is holding up really well. They chew it, but I knew they were going to chew it. Hi. Mm, stinking male quails. And then here's their hide box slash nesting box. Again, holding up pretty well. They like to pee and poop in there the most, and they chew it, but I just scrub it down. Hi. Close you. Okay. So that's it. That's about it for the rabbits. They seem very, very happy in there. Um, when I get the chance, I'm going to get this guy. His, his name is Guy, actually. I'm going to get this big guy in uh, an identical hutch to this. Because this one I found on the side of the road and just kind of upgraded with a new mesh and a new new bottom and stuff like that. But I want to get him in a better in a better hutch. But I have um, kind of jury-rigged the, the tray base like I have on this one for him. And it's working. It's working for him also. So... The quail cage. This is the one that I was the most worried about, and um, it's actually working great. This is by far the best quail design I've come up with. It's working so well that today, as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to start filming a video on how to make this whole thing, because I'm building a second one. That's how much I like it, building a second one. So, the features of this, again, if you didn't watch the first video, uh, the rabbit and quail tower, and uh, it's got the, the sloping floor to let the eggs roll down to this tray and the only problem I have with this tray is once in a while only on this side not the other end but on this end once in a while I'd find an egg rolled off and smashed on the ground so I did build in just these little little pieces of mesh that I kind of just crimped on using the, the mesh itself and that's like a little bumper and I made one on this end even though I haven't had the same problem on this end for some reason the um, automatic feeder it's working great. It's just a trash can from Target. You can see it's the six liter. Whoop, there you go, six liter. Cross section is a half circle. And it works great when I want to fill it. Just push the button, pops up, dump more food in there. Inside it, coming out the back for each half of the quail cage, there's a 45 degree PVC elbow. I think it's an inch and a half PVC. And I have it attached with uh, hot glue and um, 90 degree brackets. And then uh, inside the cage here, you can see the birds. I have five birds per cage, and there's a divider in the middle. So five birds per side, four females and a male. You can see that, that one right there, that female's eating. The feeder. And the feeder design has been working great to eliminate a lot of the waste because they spray their food everywhere. And then, um, the automatic watering system that's gravity fed from this bucket with a float valve in it. So it feeds down to the rabbits and also the quail waterers. And I don't know if they're going to use the waterers for you, but I have these waterer nipples that I got off, uh, off of Amazon and they've been working great for the quails. They do spray the water around and it puddles down in the tray on the bottom right in the center there. So I think maybe when I do this next one instead of having Oh, well, sorry girls, when I'm, when I, instead of having all the water here, I might have one here, but then that second one I may bring out 
this direction into the center of the cage just so it spreads the water out a little bit more and it's not all pooling in one spot and that'll 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 eliminate the water pooling in one spot and eliminates some of the traffic over here because it seems like everyone's always hanging out over here because they want the food and the water let me just show you the tray as long as I can get that shut so the tray let's see if I can do it with one hand got a pull out tray that I designed myself and I used rubber like this rubberized paint from Home Depot to uh, to seal it and waterproof it and uh, once a week I just empty this out into my compost bin I scrape it out with a plastic disposable putty knife that I got at the dollar store and then I rinse this with the hose stick it back in ready to roll that's it it's great same thing with the rabbit bins once a week empty that in the compost bin I usually empty it into the wheelbarrow and then bring the wheelbarrow to the compost bin to be honest because it gets heavy and uh, rinse it out with the hose, stick it back in. That is all, that's all the maintenance. So this thing has been great so far and I think I'm gonna build a second one and probably eventually a third one because I think it's great. I'm very, very happy with it. So uh, that's it, hope you guys enjoy this and uh, check out a video I'm gonna have coming up soon. I'm gonna have probably a three part series because it has like, you know, the base one, the rabbits two, quails three. So I'm thinking it's going to be a three-part series probably on how to make the rabbit quail tower. All right, see ya.